if my face is too white. Just use your imagination. Hi guys, it's me Issa, also known on the internet as Issa Please. Today we are going to be reviewing all this makeup in this bin. Basically what's inside this bin is our makeup, skincare, lotion, and a lot of them are honestly like PR packages that I received within the year. And I also got a lot of things this year. So if I was the type of girl who didn't like makeup last year, that person has completely shifted and turned into this monster who ended up with an entire bin of makeup. So I honestly wanted to wait until the end of the year to do this, but I've been keeping all my makeup products untouched, most of them in this bin or in like different bags all over the house. I'm just like, I want to get rid of it already. The things I like, I want to I wanna keep. The things I don't like, I want to get rid of. So we're doing this in November. Consider this like the things that I like and I don't like for the year of 2018. I'm just going to give you like little backstories and stuff as we go along. I don't completely know what's like everything that's in here. I just kind of threw everything in a bin. So yeah. And if the house is messy, that's because it is messy. I got two of these boxed hair dyes. I don't dye my own hair. I always get it done. Not because I'm fancy, but because I'm not stupid. Um, I used to color my own hair and then... Um, let's not talk about what happened to my hair just yet. But um, I kind of had to learn the hard way not to do it yourself, especially when it comes to your hair. And so now I have to actually pay someone to do my hair for me. I am probably going to save this or if someone wants it, you can leave a comment down below and I might just send it to you. Okay, so in this box, you're going to find so much, uh, what do you call this? Sunscreen and sunblock. Let me just get it. I have so much and in fact, I have like more just lying around the house like I'll go through a bag and I'm like hey look there's more sunscreen and these are the ones that I can find so far if you go through my Instagram pictures you'll see that I was sponsored with like this really cute baggie from Watson's during the summer as they were promoting their sunscreen and everything and so I got a lot of products that I can't even hold in one I can't even hold with two hands so I have all of this and just to go through it very very quickly my preference when it comes to sunblock is something that's not like, um, I don't like the feeling where it's like super oily. I don't like this feeling of lotion on my bot on my on my hand. So whenever I put sunblock on, I'll go like this. I will go through leaps and bounds not to put it on my hands, and so Paulo has to put it on my face and stuff like that. So I guess because of that, my favorites would have to be either the Balo Sun Expert or the Banana Boat or also the Flawless sunscreen that comes in like, I have it, hold on, <sighs> or also this one. So the next thing that I grab inside this thing is, oh, I actually need to use this for a vlog. It's called Vagine, and it's something that you stick up your Vagine, and um, well, I'll tell you about that in another video. I'm supposed to keep this. I also have a bunch of, well, I can't really say anything about these because these are supposed to be open, not closed. But these are basically ampules. They're like in a goodie bag that I got from Nailaholics. I guess they're like pre preparation gels that you need to put on your body before you get a wax. Y'all know that I just came from the e-bloggers ball and they had like a big bag of goodies. So from the e-bloggers ball baggie that they gave me, they, it came with like these Blackwater Dio Mist in golden sugar and also a Dio Mist in gray marble. So I'm assuming the black one is for guys and the pink one is for girls. Um, that one in my mouth. That one in my mouth. Let's just spray it. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. But it actually does smell good. It smells like, it smells like flowers, I guess. If that's what, I think that's what it smells like, flowers. Oh yeah, that's definitely for guys. Or if you're like, if you're a girl who likes like stronger smells, this is definitely the one. Leave it right there for Paulo. He can have that one. So I also got some Black Water Women Dio Soap, and this I really don't know what this is, or I haven't tried it yet. But thankfully, I can finally take this out of the bag and use it, and let you guys know what I think about it. It smells so good. Oh yeah, because it's berries and cream, so it smells really good, and so if you guys like it, or if you guys want to find out if you like it or not, then you can ask about it on my Instagram, then I'll probably 
I'll talk about it there. But, but I'm not really sure about how I feel about smelling like berries and cream. I like smelling like soap. But speaking of soap, um, and this is something that I'm currently using. I also got these soaps from my friend Kathy. She's from La Chuchi on Natural. And she sells these and so I have four. And I've been using the charcoal and collagen one because it has some whitening aspects and like it's also kind of hard for me to be a little bit tanner than usual just because like my makeup doesn't match at all. So I've been using that one in hopes of like kind of going back to my natural color. So this is Kalamansi Peel with the wasp. Um, it lightens dark areas and keeps you odor free. Pretty interesting. This is oatmeal with milk. It exfoliates naturally and achieves that baby supple skin. So I might use this sometime towards the wedding. And they, I also have this placenta collagen which keeps you young and beautiful. Also another thing that's in here is a bunch of feminine products from my I Love video which I actually went out and spent for if you guys think that that video was sponsored and if you guys thought that it was a that I was promoting a feminine wash named Ibila that's not what it was guys it was a vagina video and right after I'm done making this video and I'm done making a, a, an, unbox, a, an unboxing video then I will go back and make more Ibila videos but for the most part I was promoting feminine wash and so right now I am using my what am I using right now some I'm using my nature republic I know that my sister like stole a couple of these and so now all I have left which I'm keeping in storage is the pH care the gynec pro and the betadine but I know that there are a lot of women out there who are saying and messaging me and telling me that they haven't ever used feminine wash in their entire lives so I have these three and if you want them feel free to leave me a message or you can comment down below and I will send them to you we'll see how much it costs in shipping if I have to send it over like to Manila or something but if you guys want this, message me and I'll send I'll send it to you. I actually got sent these products by Rusi's Vanity this year. They wanted me to do an unboxing and so I got the product. So if you've never if you never knew, here they are. And I did make a video, but I never released that video and there's a very specific reason why. So um, I might do a little bit of a first impressions or a un review in this video since we're already here and this video is gonna be hella long anyways. But I made the video and I accidentally deleted the footage. But here's a picture of what the makeup looked like when I was doing it. And if I'm being completely honest, I didn't like the makeup that much. I, I can't say at all. I didn't like the makeup that much, you know. So the obviously the review was quite horrible. Um, I was just like, oh, I didn't understand what I was doing. I didn't understand the makeup. I, it really just wasn't working for me and so I decided that I wouldn't release that video because I'm not I don't really know how I feel about releasing makeup or talking about makeup and like especially if it's sponsored or it was sent to me and it wasn't really a good review I was like really on the fence with it but I decided to go with my better judgment and not post it also because I deleted the footage but I was thinking like I could always reshoot it and make it funnier but I mean I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds me and say really mean things, but this isn't an unboxing in the first review, so I guess I can say it now. I didn't like it that much, and I can show you, I'm going to show you guys why. How do I do this? Okay, so first of all, the BB cream, I guess it would be better for someone who has better skin, but it's obviously so light for me. Maybe they just sent me whatever color they had so obviously my face was really white and when I was shooting the video I was really trying to compensate for it and like just say oh it brightens my face but girl like this color and my neck are just two different worlds they're two different people okay so I obviously couldn't shoot it I couldn't justify it I'm just like how can you make it also at the same time sorry to whoever sent it to me but at the same time I was just thinking that's kind of rude you send me products but you don't even check if it's my color or not like you can ask me I'm, I would reply so they didn't really ask and so I got like this shade it's obviously very different the light is making me a lot lighter than I actually am there so this is like what they good shop it's because it's like the lighting but I'm actually very morena guys 
So I don't know why they decided to send me this color. Actually, of all the things that they sent me, I think the only thing I like was the powder, which honestly you really can't go wrong with. I mean, it's powder for Christ's sake. <coughs> you guys are gonna think I'm super ingrata or whatever, but I'm just honestly being honest. I only really like this one. <coughs> Probably will sell these or give them away if you want them. Leave them in the comment section below. I might send it out. Depends on what I'm feeling. <coughs> I also got the lip and cheek tint in red, which I think really made the video like it. It was just crazy. <coughs> Oh my god. When I put this on in the video, it was really, it was really something, guys. I wish I didn't delete it, but see, like, okay, let's zoom it in. Let's zoom it in a little bit. It's so sticky. It's so sticky. Still don't really like it a whole lot, so that's why it never made it into its own video. I'm really sorry to whoever sent it. I mean, like, I really don't mean to be rude. I super duper appreciate it, and maybe I'm just not comfortable about, like, not... I mean, if I liked something in, in the products, I really would have talked about it a little bit more, but unfortunately for this brand, I did not, so I didn't really say anything about it. Maybe next year I might be... I might start reviewing makeup a lot more. I mean, like, I guess my general feeling was I don't get set makeup a lot. I don't really do a whole lot of makeup reviews. And the ones that I do, batik pagyun. So I was thinking I would like to start reviewing makeup that I know first and foremost and have a little bit more knowledge on and experience with before I start talking about brands that I barely even know or like with very little experience. So if you've been waiting for that video, I'm so sorry. But it's not gonna come and you know, I also have their eyebrow pencil, which is just, I mean, it's just so-so. I used it for a while, and then my friends would tell me, like, why are your eyebrows orange? So I was like, okay, never mind. Let's not use that anymore. I did use a liquid eyeliner for a while, but I used it because I was too stubborn to buy my real eyeliner, which I'll be showing you in a little bit. I was using this for a while. As you can see, it's kind of gunky already. It's, it's lost its natural like glossiness and well I use it yeah I mean I like the pencil I like the brush but the thing is the thing that I really didn't like about it is that it smells cheap and it smells like glue so I didn't want to use it on my eyes anymore and I was like you know what I'm gonna go blind if I keep using this thing so I stopped using it and I think we can all agree that we're just gonna put the whole Rusi's vanity behind us and never talk about it again okay Okay, I mean, sorry if I didn't like it. I really appreciate the thought that you guys considered me considering that I am a very small YouTuber or Instagrammer or blogger, but I mean, if you don't like it, you guys, you don't like it, so that's just it. To kind of make up for the gloominess that was that, was that I'm going to show you guys my very, very favorite eyeliner as of the moment. It is this. I'm, I've been using this. I love it. This is, um, what is what brand is this? I think it's Innisfree Asam and I, but I think this is Innisfree Super Extreme Waterproof Eyeliner. I got this at Dara Holic or Dara Beauty Mark. They have their own website. It's www.daraholic.com. I think if I'm wrong, I'm gonna put it right here. You can kind of compare it already. So this is the Rusi's Vanity, and it's like really like grayish and dry. And then this is the one that I've been using, and it's really dark, and that's what I've been using on my eyes. So here. What else is in here? It's a map. It's a key card for Moven Pick. I don't know why that's there. I was at the last Pop District Bazaar. I was supposed to be one of the featured sellers. This was during Bisaya Fan Fest. I didn't sell because I was too busy um, shopping. Mm -hmm. And I, there's this one shop, I forgot the name, but they have so much local makeup. If you're watching this and you know who I am, or you know who I'm talking about, it was like one that had all the Kat Von D and all like the YouTubers makeup there. And I was just like, I just kept going back. And then 
well, because I kept going back, I kind of felt guilty. So I was like, I have to buy something or else these girls are going to hate me because I've been standing here. I've been coming back more than five times and I haven't bought anything. And so I decided to buy something and this is the thing that I got. This is the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers lip gloss or lipstick or whatever it is. I don't really know how I feel about lip gloss and lipstick, but I think this is the best thing that I wanted to buy because everything was like pop, color pop eyeshadow and they were all sets or it was like YouTubers makeup. But anyways, I got this, the Lime Crime. Just because I thought it was so cool and like I'm never going to see this again. I could always go out and get like a, like a random lipstick, but I kind of felt that I would never see it again, so I got that. I feel like, I don't really know, but I feel like it would be perfect if I wanted to like go for like a unicorn colored look or something like that. It was just cute guys, okay? So I got it. I have this really bad thing where I ask you guys if you want me to make this video and then I end up preparing for it and never ever shooting it. That's happened more than once. That's happened like so many times already. I think you guys are about to unsubscribe to me because you see that I trick you into these things but I never actually pull through. I'm sorry. I'm telling you this because you guys asked me to do the 500 peso makeup challenge and I already got the makeup. I've had it for like a year already. Before Metro Gaisano burned down, I got all the makeup and I never made a video about it. So here's one of the brushes. This was like 119 but it was on sale. Um, what else did I get for that video? I got... I think this was supposed to be a part of it. No, it wasn't. What is this? F features and shades two way cake refill makeup 350 what I don't even know where the hell I have this I think I was trying to do like a Filipina makeup look Filipina brand makeup look and I decided not to do it because I realized I'm not uh, I'm not very good at makeup after all so yeah I also got this touch me for 90 pesos and now it's like all broken oh I got this lipstick from Apple it was 65 it sucks this apple easy blend liquid foundation with a matte finish and it also comes with sunscreen and vitamin E. Could possibly be good. It's very light. It feels very silky. If you're wondering, we'll go through this quickly. I still have my Avon makeup, but one thing that I wanted to show you guys that I got post video was this Mark highlighter, tung tung in it, and contour. So I bought this one because I was heavily convinced that I liked it and like it was really good the first time and then I realized that there was nothing wrong with the with the highlighter that I was currently using which is the sleek highlighter which I'm not including in this video because I got late last year but I realized that I like that one more and so I have some more, I have extra highlighter but I'm not closing my doors completely to this brand and so I might start using it again. Okay, what's next in this baggie? I also found this eyebrow pencil that I got for like 45 pesos, which was supposed to be a part of that video. Oh, it actually it writes pretty well. Next is this CoverGirl um, eyeliner pen. It's Intensify Me and I don't like this one because the color is pretty gray. I have some Jurgens lotion, pro eyeliner, waterproof eyeliner from Everbelena. Oh wow. The next thing that we have are these stay matte lipsticks. I also have this pressed powder from Caroline. I've been using this volcanic mask from I'm From so that's how much I've used already. And I got this from Dara Beauty Market. Everything when it comes to skincare is most likely from Dara Beauty Market or from Response. One of the products that I really love this year is L'Oreal Paris's True match. I use this as my found uh, my concealer, but one of my issues is this: is that it kind of stings my face. So I always put under my eye under my eye bags because I have like really bad bags. But they kind of sting. I thought it would go away after a while, but it still does kind of sting. But I really love it, so I'm willing to put that behind me. The next thing I have is this All Day Better Than Basic from Caroline, and I super love the Caroline products. I seem to have gotten a lot. This year. I also have this, what is it, Martian, and I bought this from Chinkitita. I don't know if Chinky will remember, but I was, like, I, I tend to get a lot of my makeup from her because, like, I know she just swatches it and doesn't use it, so I buy, and I got this from her for 90 pesos. It looks really good on my skin, but it doesn't look good on my lips. Lash Define Waterproof for Top and Bottom Lashes. The next thing that I have is this Clarence 
UV Plus Anti-Pollution Day Green um, Too Faced Sketch Marker Chocolate Chip Honey Dip and it's just like some brown liquid liner and it's really good like I like it but I don't use it because I don't like brown eyeliner and my aunt gave it to me when she was visiting from the states and so I have it but I haven't really used it in a while oh I really like this one the Caroline contour stick oh yeah I also have this one this is um, bubble.ph shampoo bar and I'm just gonna open it really quick it has it's a cinnamon um, shampoo bar which is basically perfect and this is supposed to prevent hair loss so it smells really good and I've been meaning to make a video about this for a while now but it's just that I got so busy and this requires me to actually go in water and so I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it oh it's the map of Cebu Zoo I want to go back very very much I love the zoo I also have this Everblenna Pro liner I didn't even know I had that and it doesn't really write that well it's this one and it's also not my shade, so I have so much makeup to give away. I have Pro Eyeliner that's waterproof in Ebony. Wait, I think I... Oh, this is skinnier than the first one. It's um this one. So this year, I also got a lot of like celebrity makeup because I thought that I wanted to do a line about celebrity makeup. Then I decided that I didn't want to do that because I don't really know all the celebrities and also I don't really care but I got the BLK because I thought I really wanted this and I just forgot completely that I had this one I saw a bunch of like people with like really shiny eyes and so I wanted it I like this and I might use it again I also have the BLK lipstick in what color is this in velvet it's lip cream and I don't like it I got this one because I thought that I would use this on my eyes with this and it would end up looking like this I thought that I would use this on my eyes or on my lips or somewhere and then I would swatch it together and then create this wonderful cue and then I didn't like it so I haven't used the BLK. I tried using the BLK and I, I really just don't like it so we're not going to use that again. I super duper love the infallible line. I have this and this. I use this every single day with my concealer and I use this one when I need to color correct anything or also like when I do my sister's makeup. So we're almost, almost done guys. still have some more of like that celebrity makeup. I have the Nadine Lustre eyeliner and so I really wanted to get all her makeup but it was really expensive and let's be honest, I don't like BYS makeup so I knew it was so expensive and I was, was not going to like anything and so I only got this one and I like the pencil because it's blue. I think you guys aren't going to like me after this because I'm too critical. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about and also... I have too many things and I talk too much. Um, I have the vice. It's somewhere in one of my bags. I can't find it. I have the ordinary and this is alpha lipoic acid. It's supposed to, it's a concentrated serum to brighten and target signs of age. And so I got this because my best friend said I needed it and so I use it. I also have this feminine spray because I like talking about vaginas and using vagina stuff so I got this. Oh. Next thing I have that I also got from Chinky Tita is this Luster Careline lipstick. And so it's this one. It's like that rose gold. I don't know why she was selling this, but it was pretty good, so I got it. Um, I really like the color. I use it every once in a while. It might be good with whatever I'm wearing right now because I feel like washed out the cotton on. I have a couple of NARS stuff. This one I use every day as my um, powder. I love it so much. This is um, Orgasm. My dad got me like the baby kit because he's a guy who never listens to anything I say. I wanted the big one but he got me the small one because it came with lipstick. The lipstick is kind of cool. I know I'm supposed to be putting it here but... Nigi siya makita guys. And I'm also not gonna put this on my lips because it's so sticky. But I don't really care for the stick lipstick but I really like the gloss and so I use this on my lips every so often. I also have the Fresh Tomato from Caroline, which is super, super duper pigmented. Shoo! 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 I also have two of these brow defined pens, which is really interesting. I've been. Shoo! I've been so interested and intrigued by it. So today's the day that I finally get to open it. I really was interested in this because it comes with like their pencil which we're going to swatch right here. So it writes here. It's 
Uh, honestly, guys, are you even gonna remember everything that I'm showing you? Comes with like a paddle brush, which honestly, I really just want this for the paddle brush. That's so cool. What I've been using on my eyebrows lately is the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil, and this has saved my life. It's a game changer. I love it. I don't know why I ever used anything else before it. I also have some manicure because my dad got it for me. Didn't ask for it. Thanks, dad. Next. I also have some Clorons Age Lift Serum and I use this and I guess it works because my face isn't sagging. I also have some treatment oil. I guess it works because I still have a face. I have some toner, which is new. I got it at Rissan's Beauty Market. I mean Rissan's Beauty Attic event. Ugh. I also have some Chanel makeup base, which I always forget to use. Body treatment oil. It's supposed to contour your body. I guess it works because I have a body. I also have some Fenty makeup highlighter. Honestly, I like my sleep more, but I use it a lot because I asked for it. And so I must use it. It's Sayang. If I didn't, and my mom would kill me. So yeah, because she said it's expensive, so I better use it, and so I use it. But I don't like it that much. I also have this Caroline Matte Lipstick in Bloom. I have not tried it yet. I will let you know because I don't want to put anything on my face anymore or on my hands. Maybelline Contour and Highlight. I could like this, but it broke like the very second I started using it. Oh my god, I love this color. It's gotta go. I gotta go. It doesn't. I use this one a lot, a lot, a lot. I love this so much. Get it. This is my primer and my like my primer and my moisturizer. It's Nature Republic Rose um, Ampule, and I got this from Dara Market. So obviously, guys, go shop at Dara. I get all my stuff from there. This is Clarence and Jolie Rouge um, Hot Pink Seven One Three, and I got this. Oh, there's some hair in it. Very pink. I remember having more lipstick. I just it's just somewhere in my bag. I also got this L'Oreal because I thought it was my everyday lipstick, but it's not. It's not quite the shade that I like. I really like the shade that I'm using now because it looks like it's natural, kind of like the nude that I can achieve, so I like that one. Um, it's from Wet n Wild. I also have some eye cream, and I guess it works because um, I don't have wrinkles. I swear to God, this is going to be 40 minutes long, and I'm so sorry, you guys, but I'm so sorry, Isa, because you have to edit this. But yeah, we are down to our last two products. I seriously feel like there's more. I honestly know for a fact that there's more. Hold on. Is there something in this bag? There is something in this bag. There is something in this bag. There are more stuff in this bag. I knew that I had something because I remember that I ruined lipstick that I was so excited to get. And so I got this. This is, um, what is this? This is Clinique. I got that, that's this shade. I really wanted to win this and so I won it, but now I'm just like, it's not my shade. And I have such a hard time finding shades that I like. So, <sighs> anyways, I'm just gonna stick to my Wet n Wild. Don't fix what's not broken and my care light and got to go. Cut on Poco, like I've been using that for like a while and I only knew that that was the name of it. And so yeah, I also have some of this Max Factor Wild Shadow Pencil, which I also won at the Rustance Beauty Attic event. I think I will. It's very light, but I think I like it. I also have some samplers. I got some Kanibo. Yeah, I got some of this, which I am interested in trying out. Skin Prep from whatever brand that was. Dermalogica. I'm really, really excited to show you guys my eyeshadows. I've been playing with eyeshadow for a while now, I've always liked eyeshadow, but like I was like, where am I gonna wear it? But now I'm just like, own it, you like eyeshadow, play with eyeshadow. And so this year I got myself a Morphe kit. Here are the colors. I got this from my niece and Rara. She's a local makeup artist and she sells makeup as well. And so she was at like one of those bazaars that we sell at and I got this from her for like a steal. This is like 990 pesos and I know it doesn't cost this much like this is not cheap and so I got it from her and I love it so much and the next thing that I got this was from my aunties in the states they came over to visit and my auntie left me with this and it is the Too Faced chocolate bar and the, these are the colors um I used to say that I don't like eyeshadow but I have fallen in love with it but I'm trying my best not to buy so much because I still have like 
I still have my Naked palette. I still have like some Urban Decay and whatever. So I'm trying my best not to buy. But if you want to send me some, be my guest. And so yeah, but I've been using these, my Morphe, my Naked, and my um, this one for a while. If you want a makeup review or if you want like a makeup look, how I do my everyday makeup, you can leave it in the comment section below. My friends, I believe that we have come to the end of all the makeup that I have bought or that I was given or that was sent to me this year. Um, I am almost 100% sure that I still have a bunch of other makeup just lying around or that is also my sister's room because I like to give her makeup. Yeah, it's probably there. But I'm gonna end the vlog already. It was fun talking to you guys. I'm so glad that I finally got this video out of the way and I can use my makeup in its normal settings like a normal person like a normal person does. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, if there are any products that you want that I said that I would give away or you think that I'm not using, you can leave them in the comment section below and then I might contact you and send it to you. So let me know. It's Christmas, so I might be in the season of giving. I don't really have a lot of subscribers anyway, so I'm pretty sure that there's enough to give around if there's something that you absolutely want and if I can give it to you then I will. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends and I'm gonna make my next video. Bye!